Hey guys, this is Crypto Joker. Today we're going to talk about Deep Onion Tor Network Tutorial. We're going to talk about what is Tor, how does it work, why should you care? Also, are you truly anonymous using other non Tor coins? How can you get some onions, which are the Deep Onion coins, and how you can join the free airdrop? So let's talk about what is Tor. Let's look at how a non-Tor network functions to truly understand. In this example, we'll make a simple request to google.com and your data goes through the router, it goes through internet switches, finally the Google web server and the request is sent and the data sent back. As you can see, if one of the switches or routers has a sim thing simple as packet sniffer, it can see one of the few Q things it can see your location, IP address, your operating system, who your internet provider is, your web browser, and when the data is flowing through the network, and if it's not encrypted, it can also see your passwords, email, textual data, video packets, any additional sensitive information that might be passing through. So it completely compromises your anonymity, and you are truly not anonymous. So how does a Tor network work? Here in this example, let's uh, take a look at a Tor supported computer and a destination server and see how the connection builds between them. First, the Tor protocol finds something called entry node. Entry node is where your data will be entering the Tor secure network between your computer and entry node. It will create a tunnel using TLS which stands for Transport Layer Security. It's similar to SSL, but it's actually newer and safer version of SSL. The tunnel is very secure. Think of it as where no one can see inside of it and all the traffic is encrypted between the nodes. So the session it creates, let's call it session one, and the key it uses, let's call it key one. Now, the entry node extends the network to something called a middle node. It will find a middle node and it will create another secure connection using a new encryption key, let's call it key two, between middle node and your computer and let's call that session, session two. All the data traveling between middle node and your computer will be encrypted using key two. Now, the network continues to extend where the middle node will find something called an exit node. The exit node is where your data will be exiting the Tor secure network. It will generate a key three and a session three between your computer and the exit node. All the data transporting between them will be encrypted and it will be completely secure. Now, the exit node will send a request to the destination because all the data is encrypted by each node on an individual node layer and middle node is only aware that the data is coming from entry node and going to the exit node. The entry node is only aware that the data is coming from your computer and going to the middle node and the exit node will only be aware of the destination and the middle node, but it will not be aware of where the data is coming from. So that way, it completely makes you anonymous because each node is only aware of one before and one after, but no one has the clear picture of the whole network and whatever the data is transferring, it's encrypted at every single step and in a tunnel or an onion format, providing you complete anonymity and security over Tor network. So here's a really funny example or a funny graphic where a guy is using his Wi-Fi and there are one, two, three Tor relays and none of the hackers, lawyers, NSA, police, sysadmin cannot see what data is being transported because they, every step of the way the data has been encrypted. One of the key things to understand is you can have additional middle nodes in each session. More middle nodes you have, more secure a network because network, uh, the data path can be truly random and anonymous. And then more Tor relays can be added 
making the traffic truly um, anonymizing it. So using the amazing Tor network protocol, Deep Onion completely revolutionizes blockchain client connectivity. Uh, securing your transaction with deep anonymity as number of deep onion node increases which is brilliantly incentivized by staking so when you keep your wallet open your wallet act, acts as a tor relay and it when additional tor nodes are added the transactions are more and more anonymous and the network becomes more and more resilient a minute what about all the other coins that claim they're anonymous they're not using the Tor protocol. Are they lying to you? The answer is yes, you are anonymous in a sense that you have a coin address. But when you use a desktop wallet such as Exodus or Bitcoin Electrum or Litecoin wallet or any QT wallet that is not using Tor, it broadcasts your IP address and any governmental agency, any hackers or any nefarious characters they can see where the transactions are coming from, uh, which completely take up, takes away your anonymity. Uh, let's take a look at live example on how uh, someone can find where the transactions are coming from. So let's take a Litecoin for example. Here's a public uh, explorer where you can see all the Litecoin transaction. I took the liberty of uh, selecting a random block and picking out a random transaction. And then when you click on advanced detail on that random transaction, you'll see something called relayed by. And here's the IP address of the person who sent out the transaction to the network. Uh, we're gonna, we know that it's a Litecoin wallet, so it's working on uh, port 9333, and that's the IP address. We can open up something called open visual trace route, which will trace route uh, the IP address and while it's doing that I will also uh, ping the IP address to make sure it's live and as you can see the computer is responding to me the IP address for that particular transaction uh, ends in Montreal in Canada here's the latitude and longitude of the IP address but uh, more important you know their service provider who their internet provider is and when where they are located so now it connects this <clears throat> address with a physical geo location so someone uh, who wants to hack into this person's uh, litecoin wallet they can uh, scan all the ports they can do a zero day exploit and because they know that this person at this IP address has a Litecoin wallet with some uh, funds in it. So you might be asking yourself how a Deep Onion wallet is different. When you use a Deep Onion wallet, it generates your network IP with dot .onion. Um, if you remember uh, from our previous example that there is no way for someone to trace your dot .onion address because the network is completely random and the node can only see one before and one after here in this example if it was my ip address i would be covering it up just like i covered up my transactions and my balances i would be hiding it but i feel very confident with the tor protocol and the deep onion wallet regarding anonymity that i feel comfortable broadcasting my dot onion um, ip address because there's no way to connect it physically uh, to a geolocation. There's no physical or geolocation ambiguity and that's how a Deep Onion uh, coin provides you complete anonymity. Now how can you get some Deep Onion, uh, how can you participate in, in this awesome coin? You can go to No Exchange and you can buy yourself some Onion coins. You can also get it free. Visit deeponion.org and uh, click on uh, Apply for Airdrop uh, the airdrop as of this recording was suspended temporarily, but you can still get about 15.188 onion coins. Um, and that's a great way for you to participate in a deep onion uh, airdrop. <clears throat> Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I will try my best to 